All right, well, welcome back. So I've resolved my ELRS issue and I uh, thought I'd just explain what I did because it was a little bit complicated and I know that other people have run into the same uh, problem. And uh, I'll just show you what I did to resolve it. I'm sure there are other ways. I'm not a Edge TX or OpenTX wizard, but uh, I, I, know, <laughs> I know enough to be dangerous and I, I, with a little bit of Google, I managed to fix things. So the basic problem is that we go to radio calibration. The basic problem is that uh, radio five in the LRS is reserved for arming. And basically, I think above the, the middle value, so 1500 is considered armed, and below it is considered disarmed. And this affects the radio. I think it maybe it sort of goes into low power mode or something like that when it's not armed. Um, the problem for RG pilots is that uh, channel 5 is the mode switch, and uh, uh, having two modes is just not suitable. So to get around this, there's no, I couldn't find a way to just turn radio uh, channel 5 into a regular channel. Uh, so, and there may be a way, I saw references to pin mapping in the uh, ELRS uh, Lua widget, but I couldn't find anything useful. So there probably is a way, but anyway, I, I'm sure people will tell me what, <laughs> what, uh, uh, what the better way here is, but th this is what I did. So. What you need to do is remap radio 5 with another channel. You need to do this in the transmitter. So you basically want to send your, your mode switches, your mode switch on a different channel and then remap that on the RG pilot side. So what I've done is uh, I've switched radio 5 with radio 11 and so I'll, I'll show you briefly how I did, did this so um, I'll just switch over to just so you can see what's going on so this is this is my transmitter you probably can't see but uh, basically what I did was I took a copy of the model um, using LRS and then I went to the mixes and I copied um, what I had on channel 11 to channel 5 and then what I had on channel 5 to channel 11 so you can see that channel 11 has become my mode so I've, it is basically my mode switch so it's got the input of the mode switch which are these ones here and um, uh, that was the only change I've made on the transmitter side. So I switched channel 11 with channel 5 on um, in, in the mix panel. And I copied the model as well, just so it's a separate ELR, ELR, ELRS model, because I don't want to do this on anything else. So if I pop out of there... And then on the, uh, so now you can see that my mode switch moves channel 11, okay? So what I have to then do is recalibrate the radio because the travel for channel 11 and five have changed. So I'm gonna go through the radio calibration again. Left, right, up, down. Move all the switches, including radio 5, which is this one, and then the mode switch, which is radio 11, which is that one, and that one. So I've got the radio 1 through 12, so there's only uh, 12 channels. Click one down, perfect. And then what I did was I went to config, and there's actually a flight mode flip mode flip mode ch so flip mode ch defaults to 5 for the 
channel 5 flight mode so I've changed that flight mode channel to 11 uh, so if you remember that was what I re uh, switched around on the mixes on my transmitter and then if I go to setup and flight modes you can now see that my mode switch is modifying where which modes I've got and I've got loiter set, alt hold set, stabilize set and then everything else is stabilized at, at the moment so um, that's uh, in a good place so uh, yeah so that's it so that's uh, ELRS setup obviously I covered how you actually wire up the transmitter in the last video uh, but that does mean now that I'm ready to put some props on and give it a um, give it an initial tune. The other thing I was just going to check was I have a feeling. Okay, so we've got Hurleybro S five hundred params here. So these are presets that um, are provided, and actually. There's a couple of ones I did, so as I fly Chimera here I did Texin TD650 that I did. So what I'm not sure about is, so this Holy Bro, wherever it's gone, Holy Bro S500. What happens if I, I'm just gonna, <laughs> save this to a file just um, uh, what's this Hurley Burrow X500 X Hawk 6 X just going to save those to a file okay so if we load the presets here it now shows comparison and yeah so those have given me PIDs that I find somewhat believable so roll is down a bit that seems likely to me and that's down is going to be safer um, Filter E is one, that seems strange, but uh, that's okay. I mean, I'll give this a tune anyway. So, uh, then your I, your P look promising. I'm not going to believe the battery values I'm only really interested in. Uh, okay, EK3 drag coefficient. Well, interesting. Those not going to affect things much, but that might be okay. Spin, arm, spin, min. Okay, so 0 0.07, 0 0.09. That seems likely, and I'm, it's not far off where, where I was. Thrust of a 0.25. So those seem reasonable values. So I am going to accept all of those for um, my parameters so it's always good to start with a tune and safer is better so safer generally means lower so I loaded these presets from this Holybro S500 which I'm guessing is similar to the X500 um, and uh, I can write out those parameters parameters saved and uh, yeah ready to put some props on and Give it a fly, I think it'll be good. Thanks for watching.